zinc, okay, a mineral, a really important mineral. You need it for every single cell in your body for repair and growth. You need it, it's needed for over 300 enzyme reactions. So enzymes create other things. So um, they create cellular change. And you can't have cellular change unless you have enough adequate zinc to have healthy cellular change. You need zinc for your immune system. You won't have a strong immune system if you don't have enough zinc. And so many other good things come from zinc. Hundreds, hundreds of good things. And if you have kidney disease, there's a really high likelihood that you're going to be deficient or low in zinc. So we're talking about zinc today, this important mineral. And as I mentioned, when you have kidney disease or you're on hemodialysis, dialysis, peritoneal dialysis, you generally have a low zinc level. And this is reported from the Journal of Renal Nutrition, April 2022. Serum zinc levels lower in patients with CKD on hemodialysis than controls. So we know this before, it just reiterates a lot of what we know, that if you have kidney disease, ideally the best thing to do would be to get your blood levels tested. Okay, that would be the best thing. That's what they recommend here in this big meta-analysis. So they looked at thousands of people, uh, 40, 40 or so, 42 studies they combined together. They really recommend getting it tested. Now, I know from experience and working in the field that um, I really haven't seen any nephrologist ever test for zinc. So you're going to have to request it. You can ask a nephrologist. You can ask your medical doctor. But the best thing to do is to have that level to know if you need extra zinc. Now, everybody with kidney disease ideally should be taking a multivitamin. And usually a multivitamin is going to have a little bit of zinc, which is good for you. So you'll be able to get some through there. You could supplement it on its own. You can buy just a zinc supplement and you can supplement there. So those are the couple ways that you can get zinc in your diet. As far as dietarily, it's tough to correct a deficiency through getting enough zinc through food alone because you don't get the high values. You can't eat enough of the food. A lot of the food that zinc is in, um, it's high in animal proteins or animal foods. Okay, you got oysters, seafood chicken, maybe you can have small amounts, but you can't eat your way out of the deficiency and get enough through food. So that's why supplementation is really important. Knowing your zinc level would be best. And what they do mention in this article that if you take a high dose zinc, you could develop a copper deficiency and then copper could affect erythropoietin treatment. So generally that's not going to happen unless you take high doses of zinc, like 50 milligrams. And generally you got to take it for like six months is where we start to see possible lowering of zinc. So you can take zinc lower doses, like in a multivitamin for long term. If you're taking it separately, you can do it for three, four months. That should build up your levels and then you may not need it again for six, eight months. Or you may stay stable with getting a little bit through a multivitamin. So something really important to everybody with kidney disease on dialysis, if you can't get that blood level tested, if not, you still can take a multivitamin or a small dose of a separate zinc. So thanks for watching everybody to your best kidney health.